Good evening, everybody. We're joined here this evening by Under 18s manager and uh, GNE Community Club football coordinator Ben Mills. Uh, thanks for ever so much for joining me, Ben, tonight. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, we're, we're speaking obviously after the under 18 season has come to a close. You finished uh, just below mid table in the Northwest Youth Alliance. First year in, in a difficult, you know, a difficult level for the squad. How do you think it went and what's your sort of season overview? Yeah, thanks. You know, I, the first thing I'd say is we thoroughly enjoyed the experience. It was great playing on the first team pitch. Um, uh, playing in the Northwest Youth Alliance is something the club's not done for. You know, sort of generation of youth players really not done it for over 10 years. So we all know, knew it was going to be a challenge. We went into the season not with any real expectations about league finishes and winning, you know, uh, cups and things like that. We just wanted to compete and I think we did that. We finished just, just below mid table. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, a couple of teams dropped out. So that sort of affected the final um, positions. Um, and we did have a few more results on the board than, than the sort of table would tell. But, you know, overall, I'm satisfied, you know, with, with, with the way the lads um, performed. Um, you know, we competed in every game we played in, bar maybe against a couple of the top sides in the division, um, which were a bridge too far. We, we competed throughout. And if you look, you know, you, you are going to gauge it by results. Look down at uh, some of those and we sort of, you know, we narrow defeats in games that we might have won. So, you know, we, we, we're really pleased with the first, first season back in the Northwest East Line. As far as a, you know, a, a developmental exercise, if if, if nothing else, um, you know, a lot of the players into their first year at that level, like you said, how did you find it as a coach for, in the difference in the Northwest Youth Alliance to, to let's say, you know, some of the Derbyshire leagues, Manchester leagues that the squad have been playing in in, in previous times? Yeah, but the, you know, the, the, the majority of the squad have always played at a high level. East Manchester is, is a fantastic league, and, and most of the players have played in the Premiership for that for for many years. So you know. We kind of knew the standard we're at, but there's always always levels in in football, and you know, and, and it was definitely a level above. First thing I'd say, it was ran fantastically by the committee at the Northwest Youth Alliance. It's great to have lions and referees, you know, attending games with great coaches and you know, really good facilities, and coming up with some of the best youth talent you know in the area. You know, a lot of these players are getting first team opportunities at clubs, so you know, it, it, it is a really really high standard. As a coach, you know, you learn. You know, and I reflect on the season now, and there's lots of things we learn, um, and we'll be, you know, taking to next season really. Um, one of those being I need to have a, a longer pre-season. You know, the Youth Cup game, if you remember, back in back in August, came around quite quickly, and probably a little bit underprepared for that that start of the season. But we adapted quickly, um, and um, I think in terms of the intensity of the training, preparation for the games. You know, it was everything I wanted to be really, and really challenged me and, and Stuart and Dan as a coaching team. Um, but you know, when we look back, it, it, it was a really enjoyable, enjoyable experience. Was there any sort of you know particular turning points in the season? Any notable sort of results where you thought you know that the season turned a corner corner for you guys? Yeah, well, we, we made a good start. We had a, a, a great result away at, um, at, at Cheadle Nomads, who, who are a strong side, but early on in the season, we won 4 3, great Patrick from, from, from Tom Cruise Iron. Um, and then sort of later on in the season, we had a, a, a great win against Withershaw, um, who, who were a fantastic side. I think they'll get promoted and uh, we managed to, to, to get a win at home. Um, I, I, I'd say probably not turning points, but probably downsides were. More that you know, we, we did have a spell sort of October, November, mid season where we had a lot of injuries, you know, to key players and uh, to goal scorers really. So probably, you know, that 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 did hit us quite quite hard. But the learning point from that is, you know, you need a big squad, uh, you know, at, at sort of youth football as you'll know at, at senior football, you need a big squad to see for a season, and you also, you know, sort of have to expect the unexpected. So you know, there were key key injuries to two or three players during the season. And, and I think planning ahead, we need to make sure we've got sort of covering all positions. But, um, you know, there, there were some good results. Um, but, you know, back to what you said, it's all about developing the players and playing at the highest level they can. And there's no doubt we could go and play in a, in a local league and, 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 you know, win lots of games and win lots of trophies. But we're trying to, you know, get these players ready for um, semi pro football, play football at the highest level they can. And the North West Youth Alliance certainly gave us that experience. Obviously, in terms of you know the, the matches themselves, certainly the home matches at the at the Amdek Fortless Stadium, 
from what we've seen, they've been very well, very well supported, and it's sort of you know put put the under 18s on on the map, so to speak, in the local community. Yeah, no, we Joe, I've been impressed by that. There's a lot of young people are coming down to watch, a lot of parents. Uh, you know, I think we counted nearly 100 at one of the one of the games, which is not a bad turnout really for for a Sunday afternoon. And you know, there's always been a good standard of football, so the support's been great um, through the season, particularly at home games. There's been some long trips on the road, but, you know, again, people have supported that. And then, um, you know, overall, I'm happy with the support we've received. I think, you know, some of the sort of social media coverage, you know, the young people like like seeing their name up in lights and sort of things like the player of the month and, and some of the other ways we've tried to sort of, you know, reward the youth talent have, have worked really well. And obviously, going going forward into next year, you know, back in the FA Youth Cup, hopefully uh, a, a home tie in that to, you know, get a good crowd down for that. But obviously, you mentioned about the covering key areas in, in the squad. Uh, but what's the overall aim, you know, going into the second year with this set of players? Yeah, so so the majority of the squad last season were, were under 17s. We probably had 80% under 17s. And, 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 you know, we wish all the best to, to the under 18s who are going to be leaving us for that. Fred or Noel, Jude, Shucks, um, Tommy, um, obviously, and, 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 and Prince, who, who played in a couple of games for us. Um, I think the opportunity moving forward is, is more of the squad will have had experience playing in a season in the North West Youth Line. The majority of squads will be under 18. At the end of last season, we did bring in some of the 16s to give them a taste of the level, and they really impressed. So, we're kind of, you know, we're looking to put together a, a, a you know, a, a strong, well-established squad for the season ahead. Um, we have got open trials um, coming up on the 23rd and 30th of June, after which we're going to be going to pre-season, playing some, some sort of pre-season games earlier in the season, if you like, in the build-up to that youth cup and the start of the next season. So, you know, a lot, lots going on. Um, and um, we're looking probably to work a little bit more closely with, the other teams at the under-18 age, so we're going to have de- under-18 with development side as well, which is going to be playing in East Manchester. Um, so we're going to have two really strong squads um, and give give more players the opportunity to play, play at the highest level they can within the, the Glossop community. And, and obviously, you know, you mentioned the Glossop community there. As, as a wider organisation in the Glossop North End Juniors and the, and the community club, um, and anything much happening over the summer? And obviously, it's it's been another good year for the juniors. Plenty of teams, plenty of yeah. kids playing, and, and lots of happy parents. Yeah, no. So you know, we've had two years of on-off seasons with COVID and lockdown. So this is our first full season, and and uh, you know, for, for some time really, it feels like an age. It'd be great to see teams just in the last couple of weeks finishing seasons. We've seen you know, cup finals and and teams finishing league campaigns and. You know, lots of smiling faces, you know, from Brinsley, sort of the under sevens and eights playing in their cup finals last weekend. Um, so we think, you know, the, the, the club's the, the highest numbers it's ever been. It's over 600 members now. You know, we've had massive growth in the girls section for 10 plus teams. Um, we had a, the under 13s played in the county cup final last week, which is a great experience for them. That's the first time we've, we, we, we've achieved that in a, in a few years. Um, We've got a much more established sixes going into the sevens provision, and that was a bit affected last year. And just sort of being a bit, bit, bit late to late to the table, but that's looking really good, and that's such a key age sort of for the rest of the club. And um, we'll be bringing in a new under nine um, girls team, um, and then it's great to see things like our recreational football, so just play ladies, run by Cheryl. That's been, um, you know, that's been fantastic. She's been playing the flexi league and having a couple of teams in that so you know there's just loads going on across the club even just lately the futsal we saw on the 16 team go to the uh, um, regional futsal finals one of the girls teams they did really well and we've got an open eight we've got an under 18 uh, team playing in the Manchester Futsal League um, you know who are currently top of the league and, and, and looking to go into the playoff finals against open age opposition so there's loads going on at the club we are going to take a bit of a break I'd encourage everybody to do with, you know, grassroots football or above to, to take some time out. It's a good opportunity to reflect, give the players a break, let them play different sports. Um, and then I think everybody will come refreshed. So we're going to go into a bit of a sort of six week close to the season, um, end of May, get, you know, go through to June and then we'll be, you know, ready to go for another full season, uh, back in September. And hopefully one of the, you know, starting points for that new season will be the, uh, 
that FA Youth Cup and if I could buy a home tie, yeah, Dan, I, I, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, Ben. Well, look, really appreciate you uh, speaking to us this afternoon, Ben. All the best for the summer and uh, appreciate all your efforts this season. Congratulations on your first season in the North West Youth Alliance and we'll speak soon. Brilliant. Thank you, Dan. Cheers.